y'all welcome back to another power shark rick video today we are working i don't know if i'm filming it right now but we're working on the 2012 f-250 the red truck we are doing some bilstein 5100 shocks for it all four front and the rear um this thing does have the stock shocks on it which it's about 12 years old and it's ohio rust truck so these is this is definitely gonna be a good upgrade um i've been running bilstein for a while now so it's definitely recommended by me if that matters if not it doesn't matter um blue truck has all bill scene 5160s on it so i love them we want just the 5100s for this thing um the price and the ride quality you honestly can't beat it and there's so many shocks out there so i mean it's all honestly it's my personal preference but my suggestion is go to buy you guys some bill scene 5100s so i'm gonna start filming some stuff we're gonna get into it probably really really short video because it's nice and easy so it's like a sore dick can't beat it Hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in a minute here. Peace. All right, guys. So what we got here is we got the Bilstein 5100 rear shocks and we got our front shocks right here. So this is just for a stock height truck. Um, you got some hardware for the front, obviously, because there's a male stud. And these are just female on these ends. Cut and dry install. I'm not I'm just going to put a time lapse on for you guys because you've probably seen me take those shocks on and off the back, the rear end here. You got, what is this? I forget, 15 millimeter and an 18 millimeter. You got a bolt and a nut on the bottom side. Top side, 18 millimeter. I use this swivel socket with the half inch impact. So since this truck is a little little rusty, we're gonna spray some croil on everything before we take them out. And then I'm just gonna put a time lapse down in this area. So 5100s, you guys can get these from wherever. Uh, I got these from Amazon. I could attach the link if you guys want. These are actually a birthday gift for my dad, who's gonna be 60. So happy birthday, Woo! Ford. Woo! Ford. No, no comment. 37. Happy birthday. You Thank said you. 37. Birthday. What you got, Libby? Whiskey All right, All right. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. So we're gonna throw a time lapse on. We're gonna put these back ones on real quick. guys so here's the uh old rear shocks nice and rusty throw them down on the ground they're definitely blown engine they just stay compressed like that so that's not too hot but here's the front ones we're gonna slap them on but the rear i just did a little time lapse i mean you guys know it's cut and dry this one right here i forgot to cut the banding off so i was uh, having to uh muscle it up but this one the trick if you can see on the camera just leave the banding on get everything started and cut the banding and you're good to go but Look at them bad boys, man. They look good. So now we're gonna do the front. A couple different sockets. Um, you can get in here without taking the wheel off, obviously, but, well, yeah, yeah actually, I might just leave the wheel on. It's actually not that bad. I'm probably just gonna turn the tire. I was gonna take the wheel off, but you can get them without it, so. I believe that's a, what is that, 16 at the bottom? Or no, that's an 18, I believe. I'll get you guys the size here in a minute, but we're gonna crank that top one off too, so. Yep. All right, guys, so the bottom, we got 18 millimeter down here. Uh, it's got that wing nut on the back, so you don't need to hold anything with it. Top is a 21 milli, so it's going to zip these rusty bad boys out. I just turn the tire like this. You don't have to take the uh, tire off, so just get in there a little easier. Guys, 
12 year old shocks rusty for whatever reason this top one man look how long that damn stud is the top one definitely wants to give me a hard time if you see my time lapse i got the long ratchet out it is a 21 millimeter and you got to hold a wrench in the bottom and then the socket on the top i was able to get in through the top to tighten it up with a long extension but new bill scenes are 19 millimeter and then obviously you retain the factory 18 millimeter down there but man very nice shocks and then if anyone gets confused this is like tapered the metal so it goes tapered up that way bushing and then up top here bushing and then tapered down and then the nut just in case anyone knows or didn't know so yeah All right, guys, a little tool pile right here. You know how it is. We're going to clean all the tools when we're done. Here's the aftermath, the old shocks. This one is definitely blown engine, man. It didn't even collapse. Look at that thing. Jesus Christ. 12 years. So you guys got your Billistine 5100s installed. Looking very nice. Very, very nice. I would suggest these Billistines. This is probably your go-to best shock you could buy. Best bang for your buck. Now, if you want to spend some more money, you guys know I got the 5160s on here, which these are about 220, 250 a shock, depending on where you buy them at. These were about, I think I ended up getting these for like $90 a shock, which is not a bad price. Um, they got, I think they got a five-year warranty on it backed. Don't hold me on that, but it's like a sore dick. Can't beat it. Oh, let me, before I forget, we did end up using extensions and a swivel to get in through here with the 21 for the old one to come out and the new one's a 19. So just so you guys know about that and then 18 on the bottom, obviously with that cage nut or wing nut, whatever it's called. Guys, I got too excited. I forgot I have the front bill scene stabilizer as well. So this is the old rusty crusty one. I'll chewed up. You have a, what is this? 15 millimeter stud that goes in and then you got a 18 millimeter nut on this side. You know, it goes into the drag link, obviously. So we're gonna pop the new one in, which where did I do with the new one? Oh, here it is. This was actually used. I had this in my blue truck a couple years ago. Had it on there for about maybe six months. So took it off because I did the PMF upgrade drag link. So yeah, we're gonna slap this bad boy on. All right, guys, stabilizer installed, 19 milli there. And then uh, the, what did I say that was? 16 or 15? Retain on that side. So, yep, that's it. All right, guys, that's it. So quick little install on these Billstein 5100s. Uh, like I said, highly recommended. I think these are the best bang for your buck. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, it's like a sore dick, can't beat it. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.